the one watt freestyle hd0 vtx freestylers are saying they need more power than 200 milliwatts and we're gonna get two of these cranking out a thousand milliwatts at once to see if it's flyable or are we going to be able to convert a long time dji pilot joe mama to doing freestyle on hd0 Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up And today we're talking about the one watt VTX, the gigantic armored heat sinked. That's right, a thousand. Is this the secret that analog pilots have been waiting for to finally start doing freestyle? in digital if you are one of the folks that has been hesitant to jump on that dji bandwagon if you shuddered at the very mention of their unholy initials very large but it looks very tough so you can see it is a little bit wider but the dji air unit is quite a bit longer and of course the air unit is also quite a bit thicker now we're going to be pairing this thing to the hd0 camera v2 that's right the 4x3 and i'm going to be putting it inside of this bang god that i recently reviewed this run cam hd split now this was 90 milliseconds maximum latency and so i I need to cleanse my palettes. This was too much latency for freestyle guys. So we're gonna go and switch this out and put the least amount of latency possible. All right, we just had two of the one watts on at the same time around the nice spot. I went around that building, parking garage. I went inside, pulled like and popped it can out. Penetrate a whole building, but behind like two bushes and it gets sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the leaves penetration well, is weak. I've still. also hit some of the bad spots around here and it's not nearly as bad. As no, it is no, the race it's VTX. way more flyable. But yeah, if it can penetrate the building and still be flyable. Yeah. It's kind of weird that you can go behind one bush <laughs> and then it's not bad like on flyable. It's just more static than you would normally expect we had a fight for who was going to get to stay on r1 but joe was here first so he got it so i came to r2 Early we didn't bird. know if those two channels close to each other was going to be flyable i asked some of the guys in bot grinders crew how many they fly when they go to those bandos and they said they usually fly two maybe three if they're dji so two people on analog both at around seven eight hundred milliwatts is about so that would be pretty much the same as what you exactly can do with what this. we just yeah. did for bandos i think it penetrates the concrete and the glass a little bit better than the leaves maybe some people will won't they won't like it because they're not used to analog anymore a lot of people starting off with dji that's but true the the breakup is yeah, similar to analog yeah you're gonna get breakup if when you you're get penetrating too bandos, much of it but. it starts to clear the screen you get that rainbow but i didn't get any rainbows this flight did you get any just a quick flash yeah. when i went like at the very furthest part behind that building right there right, i got a quick is, flash of rainbow that's at, right before i came out but that was also when you were flying pretty close so i think it was just a little bit of interference so, but when i went by myself it was it was bad breakup back there but no full screen rainbow flash if you are going to be going this route be sure that you select a frame that holds it just fine and this is probably the best one that i've seen on the market i'll have links in the description below i wanted to also take the motors all the way up for the zing bubblegum classics the 2208 1700 kv also used a tbs triumph out here on the edge so i can get the best reception possible full of all of these one watts Crossfire, I'm using the Racer Star Air F7 flight controller and Racer Star 50 amp ESC for this. This is a DJI plug and play, um, so that makes it very easy for HD0. Now, note that this VTX only takes 2 to 4S. So, the nice thing is, if you have any of those DJI only flight controllers or DJI compatible, they all pretty much have a 9 volt regulator on board. And as long as that regulator is good up to two amps, you can supply all of that one watt juice. So do I notice the difference? Uh, yes and no. I definitely can tell in some areas of flying that the latency is better, is faster. It's really making me fly a little bit differently than I normally would on a freestyle build. A lot of times with freestyle, I'm doing a little more flowy moves cruising around and this has me 
going a lot more twitchy, but is that because I couldn't fly that twitchy or that type of flight that required those high reaction times because of the latency of DJI? Was DJI holding me back for a while? This really feels like analog, but with a better image quality, less breakup. It used to be DJI was better in every way. I don't think that's the case now. If you want the lower latency to be able to fly as close and as fast to things as possible with a good image you're going to want hd0 with the freestyle one watt vtx if you want image quality above all others and don't mind a little bit of extra latency then you're going to want to go with dji and if you just want all out cheapness you can go with analog hd0 now it's still not going to have the penetration it's still going to have a little bit weaker penetration when it comes to leaves compared to analog it's still going to have a little bit weaker penetration when it comes to metal and reflections compared to dji so you're going to have to factor that in when you have power this high those sparkles that you see in the feed are much much less and when they're that infrequent it's much less distracting much more enjoyable now when you get very very close to ghost branches like in the fall or winter it's a little bit harder to see them on this system and i remember when uh, they put stingy on the goggles with hd0 he would thought that the camera was messed up like it wasn't focused and that's almost the same thing i thought when i plugged up this hd0 v2 4x3 camera but then i realized no that, that's just the hd0 system it doesn't have that fine detail that you're used to with dji but that's okay because what you gain is something even better so frames that have a good back section with 30 by 30 mounting like this bang god mm, so easy to build well, look at this thing time. this is joe's creation a fuck that a <laughs> Man, look at this. This is clean. Full coverage for the Race VTX. There's not too many frames out there. The Bang God is one of them. But if you get if you get the custom plates that Joe and uh, Zero Volume had designed up, and these are being cut by uh, Hypernova, Joe did approach Impulse RC and ask for them to make it. They didn't want to make it, but out here, like we're yeah, gonna find right. a way. We're gonna find yeah. a way to do it. So very, there very you have it, guys. If DJI is too much latency for you, you don't feel like going that route. This Definitely was just about as option. just about yeah. equal. I mean, the image quality is slightly worse, but the latency is so much better. And uh, I didn't really think that it would have this much penetration when you turn the power up this much but it is way, way, way more pliable. Yeah. This is one of the toughest spots that you're gonna fly um, video wise. And so a lot of people are testing these things in open fields. Maybe they live near some mountains. They got clear line of sight and they're going miles away, but I just don't fly like that. I don't think a lot no, of you guys fly like that. Either. Like, <laughs> who fly, flies like that? <laughs> I fly like this. Yeah. So if you there's fly- There's shit around, there's Wi-Fi around, there's trees, there's buildings, there's- It's just not interesting to go- yeah faffing around floating in a field so or maybe... just cruising through, through some trees in a park maybe yeah. if you're new that's that's fine that's acceptable but you want after some obstacles what four or five years in the hobby now for yeah, us it's just it's not too yeah. boring. <laughs> it's so boring so nice <laughs> rather go home and watch the paint dry <laughs> all right well nice job hd zero
I just forgot about this phone. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Right. 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 Who came up with this circle track anyway? Circle we got tracks. one of the nicest tracks yeah. we've set up in a while, <laughs> and then we decided to just fly the circle. <laughs> and funny thing, funny thing, we're flying circle tracks around four poles, but Sam still misses one. <laughs> <laughs> Still couldn't catch up skipping the pole. So. <laughs>